Benny Boop's Ups and Downs is really enjoyable. This is a Fleischer Studios cartoon from 1932. It's directed by Dave Fleischer and Willard Bowski with a voice cast including Billy Murray as Bimbo and Mae Questel as Betty Boop. And this is set during the Great Depression and Betty Boop it has to sell her home. She has to leave her home. We see her getting into a cart with Bimbo. It's all very depressing. And then everything on Earth has to be sold. And that includes Earth itself. And we have this beautiful scene with the moon auctioning off Earth to the other planets. And it's so well done and so fun and very entertaining. The animation for that is beautiful. And I won't say which planet is the highest bidder. But once they win the auction, peculiar things start happening with gravity. And I'll say no more than that. But what we get after that is a series of... Very interesting things happening to the houses, to Betty Boop, to the other characters, and I really enjoyed it. I do feel like we needed maybe something just a little bit extra in there. I feel like there was maybe room to do something a little bit different as it became a little bit repetitive towards the end. By the last kind of 30, 40 seconds, I was thinking, okay, I get it. This is funny. Could we maybe see something else now? And we didn't get to see something else, but I still enjoyed it. I thought it was a really fun idea, very creative generally very engaging and apart from maybe slowing down a little bit towards the end and getting a little bit repetitive i really enjoyed it and if you're a fan of betty boop then i think you'll like this it's a fun concept the scene with the planets absolutely my favorite part in this but betty boop was great as well and bimbo well, that's never going to be one of my favourite Betty Boop cartoons. That's not saying much because there are some really brilliant ones. But even though it's not a favourite, I still really enjoyed it. It's generally pretty brilliant. And if you're a fan of Betty Boop and you haven't seen it yet, then I definitely recommend Betty Boop's Ups and Downs.